So I think one thing that's just um, something my mission president told me, he's like, make sure that you are preaching and teaching the doctrine and gospel of Jesus Christ. You be exactly obedient. You love the people, and that includes your companion. And then you enjoy and have fun. And um, something I did um, is every time I went to a new area, I always fasted beforehand to know how many people that God um, expected me to bring into the waters of baptism. Now, um, that doesn't mean I was going to be the one to baptize them. I actually made a goal to never baptize anyone on my mission. I felt it should be the local members because I wanted them to stay in the church when I left. But um, every time it came to pass, it wasn't always on my timetable. Sometimes they got baptized a couple months after I left. It happened every time because the Lord will tell you what he expects of you. So I just, um, it's my little tidbit. Don't be afraid um, with immigration. Sometimes they can be like a little harsh to you. You can be kind of scary. But if you have the faith, it's going to be okay. You know, maybe you might get deported. So you get sent to another island and you have to stay there a couple of days with the other missionaries. That's the worst case scenario. Um, they might send you back to the United States. They booked you another flight from there, from Miami, back to the mission on another island. Um, those are very rare cases. And if you really just stand with your faith, and most of the time, honestly speaking, you can not, I don't want to say talk your way out of it, but I've known missionaries that were not legally allowed to be in the country and they were let in, like miracles happen. So just make sure that no matter what happens with immigration, with customs, people saying you're not allowed to be here, if you definitely hold your ground, you know your purpose while you're there, the Lord's going to help you with everything, not just in contacting, but um, in getting through immigration. So if you're going to go to this mission, it's the best mission in the world, I say. I'm not sure everyone says that, but um, if still bring things to be prepared for tropics, even if you're going to be in the ABC Islands because they're desert, but I was also in Trinidad where it did rain a lot. So you have to be careful with that. Um, so I would just say, make sure you're prepared. You're only allowed one suitcase going to the mission. So make sure you pack well, but when you go home, you're allowed two. So you can like, um, prepare adequately in the way like most time try and buy things when you get to the mission if you need them um, you're also traveling a lot in between the islands so just be careful with weight you can buy things in the mission that you need it's not like you're in a third world country unless you're in Guyana first things I've learned and I testify of is that God is loving Heavenly Father he knows and loves you individually and that's something that we can learn from the restoration of the gospel with the first vision called Joe Smith by the first name. And that's something else I testify is that Joe Smith was a prophet of God. And that the Book of Mormon is the words of Christ. It is not just true. It is the most correct book of any book on earth. And you will go closer to God by abiding by his precepts. And I've come to know my Savior better by reading it. I've come to know this was a prophet by reading it. And as you understand who Jesus Christ is, you will be able to access what he did for us, the atonement. You'll be able to come unto him. And that is where the change takes place. Not just in the people you teach, but in yourself. That's how you become converted, is by coming unto Christ. And I testify that if you can understand who Christ is, who God the Father is. Everything else just lines up. And it will really change your perspective on how you can um, not just use atonement for sinners, but for being a saint. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.